it comes to public speaking, there are three bones that you need to consider. Hi, I'm Joel Sweeney. And I have a colleague of mine that uses this analogy uh, quite regularly. And I, I like it. I've heard it many times. I've heard him use it many times. And I've actually only, now that I think about it, probably only have heard him actually use it. And so I'd like to, to share it with you. It resonates with me anyway. And it's a little bit of a twist on some of the other things that I've talked about in previous blogs. But I thought it was a unique perspective, so I thought I'd share it with you. And he talks about three bones that are needed in order to be an effective speaker. And they are the uh, wishbone, the jawbone, and the backbone. So first, you have to have the wishbone. You have to have the desire to get up and speak. You have to have the desire for personal growth and improvement, to be a better speaker, to be a better communicator. You need to have the wishbone. The second bone that you need to have is the jawbone. And the jawbone is the actual speaking. It's the doing of it. It's the delivering of your message. Uh, it's the rehearsal and practice of your delivery. And so you're exercising your jawbone whenever you speak. The third bone is the backbone. And the backbone is giving you the courage to get up and do it. Get up and do it despite the fact that maybe every fiber of your being is cr crying out that dire, great things are going to happen to you. And of course, we know that's not the case, but that's the way we feel from time to time, particularly if our anxiety is fairly extreme and fairly strong. So having a good, solid backbone and courage to get up and do that, despite how we're feeling, is very, very important. All three of these bones are critical to being a successful and confident speaker. So you have the wishbone, which is the desire to speak. You have the jawbone, which is the actual speaking. And you have the backbone, which is the courage to get up and do it. I hope this has been helpful. That's your tip for this week. Now go out and make your voice heard.